Hello and welcome to Martin Maths doing a short on rounding. We're going to start with rounding to place value and then rounding to significant figures. So the first one I'm rounding to the nearest 10. So I want to round up to the tens because we've got hundreds, tens and units. So I look at the units that is less than five. So that'll be 730. If you're not sure, just say to yourself, is it closer to 730 or 740? And we can see that 735 is the halfway mark, so it's less than the 5 there. What about the nearest 100? So we've got thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. Again, I want to see, is this closer to 8,300 or 8,400? So I am go to the tens there, and that is bigger than 5, so I'm going to round up to 8,400, because I can see where's halfway, it's 8,350, and I'm more than that. So 8,400 is the answer there. Now, significant figure, we're going to round in the same way, but we're looking at a different place. We don't necessarily know whether we're looking at tens or hundreds or units, but we start from the first non-zero place value, and that's the four there. So I want one significant figure that will summarize that number. So I will choose that four, but I look to the right and I see, well, that is five, so I'm going to round up to 500. I don't just write four or five or I'll lose the place value. I want to have the place value of those hundreds. So for two significant figures, I see there's one, two. I look to the right there, there's a seven. I'll round up and have 19,000. So if I wanted to apply that, say it's um, the number of players, uh, people at a football match, I'd say there are about 19,000 people if that many tickets went. So there we go. That's rounding to nearest 10, nearest 100, one significant figure and two significant figures. Thanks for watching.